In the uh, early 1930s, the Great Depression hit the United States with full force, creating what are seen here on the outskirts of every major city in the U.S. What were called Hoovervilles at the time, because Herbert Hoover was the president at the time. Karl Marx, who had wrote the Communist Manifesto, had predicted that contradictions inherent in the capitalist system would eventually lead to its own collapse even without a revolution. And by the beginning of the 1930s it looked like he was right after all. Out of work. Workers poured into the streets by the millions. Many demanding a communist change of government as socialism was starting to look like a viable alternative to capitalism. This was no idle threat at the time. It was very real and taken seriously in the United States and left big corporate capitalists shaking in their boots. Herbert Hoover the president at the time was held to blame, although I'm sure he had nothing to do with it. He was unelected and replaced by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He ran on a ticket that he could turn the country around, rein in the excesses of capitalism and put a stop to the lure of the communist riffraff. He offered instead a new deal for the workers. Which led to a virtual alphabet soup of government letter agencies. Some seen here, the WPA, the CCC. The Works Progress Administration included a need for artists, who were seen as essential workers, guiding the recovery efforts through cultural labor worthy of government support for the first time in U.S. history. I'm showing a lot of posters because they're fun and easy to find online. The Federal Art Project was part of the WPA and employed more than 5,000 artists in various art projects. The main objective of the Federal Art Project was to employ out-of-work artists, but also the activities of the Federal Art Project was education and research. The project also employed artists in the fields of painting, sculpture, photography, mural painting, and graphic design. It also held exhibitions and art classes at community arts centers. I don't think this baby is a federal art project poster, but I've included it because it's fun. This painting is called, At Madrid Coal Mine, New Mexico, 1934, Oil on Canvas, housed at the Smithsonian American Art Museum and was a transfer from the U.S. Department of Labor. I included this because I used to hang out in this town a lot growing up in New Mexico. And I had no idea how much the Federal Art Project through the WPA affected the history of my state. The Department of the Interior has these posters made for the National Park Service through the WPA Federal Art Project in the 1930s. They were almost lost completely except for a single park ranger finding a poster in a barn he was cleaning out and decided not to throw it out in the 1970s. By then they had been forgotten, but this guy went around hunting for more of them and eventually found 13 more. This story was so intriguing to me that I almost made this entire video about just these. But I knew there was more. This is a picture of a WPA Federal Arts Project Community Center in Harlem. The Federal Arts Project did employ African Americans, but they were segregated at the instance of a number of Southern Senators. A contemporary criticism of the WPA Federal Arts Project community centers was that they could be paternalistic and inadvertently reinforcing racial stereotypes. On the other end of this argument is that no one at the time saw anything wrong with the countless Confederate monuments going up everywhere at the same time. All over Long Beach, you can still find the artwork from the WPA Federal Art Project, here is Polytech High School. The murals today often look out of place or even racist, but one has to remember that these were made before Brown v. the Board of Education. These murals were made by the students themselves at the time being employed by the Federal Art Project. 
I could not find a photo of the actual Art Deco concrete BAS reliefs at Polytech High School, but these are very similar. You have seen these and the murals in public buildings here in Long Beach. Anytime you see these on original public buildings it's indictive of the WPA federal art projects.